about his birthplace and about your parents too. I was born at Hoflong in a house uh, with where uh, currently Jayasri Hotel is. My father's name is uh, Jatinra Lal Thausen who passed away in 2003. He had earlier retired as additional director of information and public relations department. He is a well-known Demasa author and writer. He uh, translated many epics and uh, other books notably ramayana mahabharat gita and some others well i studied uh, in a district council bengali medium lp school which is situated uh, close to the present uh, girls higher secondary school that that school is tucked in in a corner i don't think anybody would even notice it now then i went to a government boys high school which is a now higher secondary boys uh, school and i passed my matriculations in 1979 from there sir we want to know more about you bidi hi childhood spend khai ka pokhe jinte ne chakli thai chi thai kin share click la hamnang mo growing up in haflong was full of fun masti it was a carefree life not much of studies there's so many beautiful memories that which i can share with well i did everything and participated in all activities that the boys of our generation used to do played football at lalfil lalfil is the one uh, where there's a parking arrangement now in front of town committee office and we did a uh, lot of playing both cricket football and other other activities in the railway field i think railway field is currently occupied by assam rifles and of course the nav center of all activities used to be roman field which is a uh, dsa uh, ground these days since uh, there was no television mobile phones computers and other electronic gadgets that we see these days so children of our age a lot of time and as i said earlier there's not much of studies then we would be frequently going to picnic to the young or other neighboring rivers and rivulets and streams and do also go around hunting with catapults shoot birds there were not much of consciousness those days for protection of all birds so like All of this, we also indulge in that activity. Do ha related with music, Shingla do sir. Ninte ne music really important chatu. Before that, sir, music na na idu si. Yes, I do listen to music, uh, but not so much. Uh, I don't uh, get so much of time, or how should I put it? Uh, uh, maybe I'm uh, not a. big music lover so i don't find so much time okay sir is not a lover of music but still then sir you have any favorite like in bollywood and hollywood uh, some of my favorites were uh, those artists or groups uh, you know listening to those songs we grew up like beatles pink floyd kenny rogers the streets neil young and others as far as uh, bollywood is concerned oh. Kishore Kumar is all time my favorite but I do often uh, listen to others also and sir about the Dimasa music album these days uh, because of internet I do uh, get to know the new releases uh, of uh, Dimasa songs and videos and uh, I often uh, uh, listen to all this and I must admit uh, some of these uh, young boys and girls are uh, a bundle of talent and we must uh, motivate and encourage them in whatever way uh, we can and to her circulating in shimpin ladu that lots of people are saying that jeki chandli nudu chi hi sir so nadi baudu ning jar ke only jeki chandli jazo du na jazo yachi hi yeah some people 
do say sometimes that uh, I uh, look like Jackie Chan. But uh, I think, you know, sometimes when I keep my hair a little longer and on some side views, uh, I may, you know, kind of uh, resemble him. But I don't think I uh, look like him any longer now. Uh, yes, but uh, it does uh, uh, make me happy I, that I'm being compared to someone like Jackie Chan. And Doha Sir Gishing Lana ki Sir Ning Nadi activities habo li interest dong. My other interests are reading, cycling. I do a lot of cycling these days, at least four to five days in a week. I often golf, but though the frequency has decreased a bit these days. And I love traveling. Whenever there is an opportunity, I always seize it and Never miss it. And do ha sir ki shingla do sir IPS jaya khala nadi profession ki choose click hum. I well if I were not selected in an IPS probably I would have uh, uh, joined some college as a lecturer as I was doing uh, MPhil at that point of time. And I still love I go to many of our uh, police training. Uh, schools and institutes and take a few classes and lessons as and when uh, uh, time comes. Okay, and uh, Sir Kishingladu, that how you have landed up in IPS? Uh, how I landed up uh, in IPS? Uh, well, I studied political science from, uh, uh, did my post graduation uh, in political science from uh, JNU uh, Delhi. And, uh, you know, unlike engineering or medical. Uh, uh, doing a post graduation and uh, and political science uh, don't have a uh, you know a very bright prospect so like uh, uh, students of uh, our time in JNU who were uh, mostly uh, pursuing uh, or trying to uh, pursue a career in civil service so I also took up this as a challenge and uh, at that point of time my cousin Arub uh, Garlosa, he was also in Delhi University and uh, on his first attempt itself, he made it right up to interview stage. He is uh, one person who motivated me a lot and uh, I also uh, took up uh, uh, this and uh, fortunately for me too, I also uh, clear civil service is my first attempt and my first job was uh, Indian Railways Traffic Service. Then in my second attempt, I came to IPS. And this is the last questions of this interview. So, sir, any message for our youth generation? To the youth today, and particularly the youth of Dibahasa, is that we need to protect our environment. Our generation wasn't very aware. We did not contribute anything at all for the protection of the environment. And the society was not so aware and conscious at that time. But today, what we see in Dibahasa is a very pathetic uh, scene. Our rivers and rivulets and streams have dried up. Forest is completely denuded. Whatever may be the reasons behind that. But with that, with that lot of problems have come up, which the current generation is facing. So the youth today have to get together and recreate, regenerate and re-green our lost forests. And uh, another thing, you know, we must acknowledge is that our district do not offer much prospect as far as industrialization or commercialization is concerned. So jobs offer on these sectors would be very limited. So the youth today in the Mahasau have to create conditions for flourishing of tourism related jobs. So we have to, we have to create, you know, better upward and downward linkages so that tourists from other places come and visit us. And this is one industry that if it takes its roots and grow, then we would be able to offer jobs and employment to most of the families in our district. Thank you so much, sir. Hamshikli Grauzuma Ribani and Dohade interview kebo Irani Jamri Ladu. So once more, ang sir ke thank you Ladu. Ani gide pang aur hi radio gab shabni gide pang. Ante ne time rehi interview rephai bani. Thank you very much, Danvi. Thank you very much, Gab Shab 94.3 FM for inviting me 
in this show. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. So, Dini ni interview irahaning Jamil Ladu and Dini ni comment a haya ki Dini ni interview bide hi jakat sehi. So, next hafta hao li ni interview lahi pai na. So, kna hi ning dung lai Radio Gupshub 94.3 FM. We are proud to be local. Juta.